sucks in here. Oh, I need to get like a really good lighting space, but I will answer questions and I'll show you guys how I personally do my contour when I do it myself. Um, oh, shit, I really need this. Oh, I have it. Okay, so first thing I do is I use this Tasha Luminous um, like dewy skin mist and I open my little brush and I do see comments. I do love getting all the feedback from the bloggers and from everyone doing their little tutorials. So I do see that some people aren't loving the sponge side as much as they love the brush side. So I definitely am taking note and I'm going to do what I can to fix that. Um, so first when I do it, I spray the sponge side with a fix spray or water. I just like to get it like super wet. I kind of always like use everything in my hand. Um, so when I do my own makeup, after living with my mom for so long, I literally lived out of this makeup bag. So this is all I have makeup wise with me. So everything is really small and compact and all my brushes are like super small. That's why I wanted a little compact brush and everything just to fit in my makeup bag. But I think what I'm going to end up doing is getting just one brush, just a brush side, but making it bigger. So I think I'm going to, I really do love hearing the few. I think this will be my travel one and then I'll make a bigger brush for blending just for you guys because I know that's what you like. So concealer, I honestly don't even know what concealer this is. I think this could even be a tester that we're doing. When it's in my makeup bag, I don't have a ton. So I'll just do a little bit of a base just, oh, I really do my makeup. I put a little concealer on. My skin has been so bad lately. And I always put concealer on right here. You know, I'm actually, Okay, so do you guys want to see my original brush? This like brush that's been discontinued for like 10 years and it's a mess. So this was my mini blending version. And they don't make this anymore and I want it so badly. So I'm just going to make my own version. So actually, before I really finish the concealer, I will put a little bit of a base. all over I actually hate wearing t-shirts when I do my makeup I don't know why I love to like blend all the way down but who saw that golf cart you guys that I just snapchatted and I insta storied my mom got that for us isn't that so cool I think she got it I don't know where but a Range Rover golf cart. Okay, so first I just put on foundation. And then I take this little, this is like a Senna small brush with a sample found, uh, sample concealer. I have like crazy steps to concealer, but I'm just going to do it light. And I'll save all of that for when our concealer comes out, just to kind of like white out the face right now to show you guys how to contour. Um, so this is what I use the little blending brush for. Now that I sprayed it, I love to blend just like a regular sponge that you would use. Just to kind of make everything blendable. Do you guys have any questions? work for us. You know what? I'm not a twerker. Sorry guys. That's so funny. What's so funny is when I was in high school, I used to do my makeup and my dad would always walk by and he would like always say that I couldn't keep my mouth closed when I was doing my makeup. Like I always have my mouth open slightly. Okay. So I don't have the right like under eye setting powder in here, but just to give it a little bit of a base. You know what I like to do? I like to take this, even the, the sponge, and I put powder on it, just to kind of set too. 
And then I'll use just like this other little brush. These aren't my like under eye steps. You'll see later how I can totally white it out. But that's not the look I'm going for. Okay, so now I'll use, I'm using the medium stick and this is the highlight. What is my favorite makeup product? I'll answer questions. Oh wait, what's North's puppy's name? Okay, you guys, I think we went with sushi. North really wanted sushi. Her friend Ryan's here. She really wanted sushi. So sushi it is. Okay, one thing I'm also noticing on some of these, you guys have to be really delicate when you put out the product, you know, because it is a really creamy, blendable formula, but because it is so creamy, usually something creamy like this would go in a palette and a, or like a compact. And so I think it's so much easier to use like this and so much more user friendly. Sorry, I'm going into my brows for a sec. Um, that I wanted it to be in a stick formula because I find this, or in a stick com component instead of the compact. And I feel like that um, is just so much easier to use that way, but it does mean that it is more delicate. So I'm using the medium stick, but I'm using the darker side of the contour. And I just kind of like make sure that I kind of go in my three. Always like get my forehead, I kind of, I love getting into my hairline, but always kind of draw the three or just like subconsciously go in a three. Just always have that. And then I use the lighter side. I always go like from the eyebrow down my nose. My friend Sarah today made me FaceTime her on contour so I could see she was doing it right. And then I love to get the bottom of my nose like that. I just always think it makes it look um, just a little bit more short. And then I love taking the lighter side and putting it under my eye or the darker side if you want a little bit darker of like an under eye shadow that's really creamy. And even a little bit here, you can see. So on the eye, I just kind of blend it with my finger. And then I take the, um, the brush side and I just kind of like blend it all in. It's like super creamy, super blendable. See how nice that is. And then I do like my forehead a bit darker, so I might reapply some. And if you do want to um, get a little heavier or a little bit more sculpted, you could do like a powder over. That's how Mario and I always do it. Just kind of, I love like blending it into my hairline because that's how it just, I think the color just looks super natural. And then I take the, um, the brush side, I mean the sponge side. Put it going down my nose. I kind of like my nose a little bit more sculpted. And then I'll take the matte side, the highlighter side. Just kind of do that. Take the shiny side. Just super creamy. Can you guys even see this? I'm gonna get really good lighting. Just put it on my cheeks and then the inner little corner of my eyes. And blend it. Then use the other side of the brush that you really haven't used for contour. 
or you can always spray it again. Sorry, I meant sponge, not brush. I always do my own makeup in like two seconds. Or five minutes. And then sometimes I just use the lighter side as a lip liner. Over. And then I get a lipstick and a blush. There's this blush I love. It is, the name is off, Milani. I don't know, I got it in a drugstore. It's super cute. Just like a light pinky. I'm gonna take a picture since this lighting is kind of weird. So you guys can see totally up close. Don't you hate it when the bristles get all over your face? It's like, there you go. Maybe it's because I keep everything in this small. Makeup bag. All right, now I need just a lipstick. Oh, I'm going lipstick in here, guys. All right, this is like a little foundation, so it's like a super matte look. But... Can you guys just see the glow and the blend? I'm super pale right now, so I'm gonna get a spray tan tonight, and then I'll be using the deeper color. It's kinda hard to see, but well, that's not. All right, guys, I do need a lipstick in here. That would be helpful, so I can do a full look for you guys, but that's just like a two minute Quick little situation to show you guys how to do it in two minutes. All right, gonna wash it off now and get a spray tan so I could be glowy and then tomorrow I'll do it again using the deep dark and show you guys how it looks on my tanner skin. All right, have a good night everyone.